All right, guys, we are back. So today we're going to discuss our rear bar and the benefits of a rear bar in general. So yesterday I put up a story and I got a bunch of questions regarding the rear bar. So I thought I'd do a bit of a, a walk through, talk through, discussing the benefits of a rear bar, our rear bar, and just how convenient and handy a rear bar on the back of your vehicle can be. I first up, just going through the rear bar in general, it, it's really good, specifically on the Troopies, but not only other makes and models, the convenience of being able to carry extra items on the back of your car. Um, we do an accessory arm, wheel carriers, etc., and mainly on the Troopies, but on the, on the door of the Troopies, it's notorious for bending if you're carrying a bigger wheel on the back. So the earlier you can get a rear bar on the vehicle, you bet, the better. Up the top, the door seems to tweak and bend and the latches of the door. So these little pins here, they can wear out really quite quickly if you're carrying a large tire on that door. So that being said, our rebar specifically has a lot of features that really add to the capability of your four wheel drive. So from there, let's get into our rebar and how it tackles many of the options that we love to see moving forward. We run two, two arms on all of our rear bars, so they've got a nice, good, strong spindle here. Being noted that that is a Ford wheel bearing, so a standard spindle, meaning that if you are trying to buy bearings or anything like that, you can go basically to any car shop and get bearings for this. So servicing is not a problem at all. The next feature on our bar, and probably the best feature in our opinion, is the side protection. So that protection comes a long way up the side of the car, and it goes, basically if you have flares, right up to the flares, giving you protection that you wouldn't have earlier. So this is just so handy. Rocks, anything can damage the side of your car. You'll even find that the factory plastic clip sometimes wears away at the paint. So having a little gap between the paint and the rear bar and that protection along the side in case you're in a rut or anything like that, it goes along. If you lean the car up against it, it protects the car the whole way. Next feature is we have a series of mounting points giving this bar strength and durability. So it mounts to the chassis at the, at the front of the bar here. It sandwiches the tow bar in. It works with pretty much all the tow packages we've over encountered. Preferred is the Heyman Reese. The reason we like to say the Heyman Reese is for some unknown reason, Toyota drill out the captive nuts in the chassis. So if you run a Heyman Reese bar, you're just bolting up to factory bolts completely. At the front of the bar, Along the mounting point, we also have another bolting section giving that bar nice, good, strong support. Another standard feature on all the bars, so that's across the range, is an aluminium tread plate. So you'll find that jumping in and out of the car, it's a real issue because you scratch the powder coat and it just ends up looking real shot. So a good, solid aluminium tread plate. It protects the life of the bar. It stops any scratches happening. It's replaceable if you do damage it. Um, and it just, it's really handy using that as a step. So even with these roof conversions, you can just jump up there, undo the latches on the roof conversion, and it's just priceless, really. Another thing to note are the soft, soft operating latches. So they're nice and feel good on the hand, which is important, and they're real ease of operation. You just pop them out one hand, the gas strut assisted arm, a good strong stop. So the gas strut throws the arm out. It's enough Newton meters so that on a hill, it'll still hold the tire open for you. And then you have easy access to the two doors opening it. goes to show just how easy it is to open those two arms and close them up. We've got good quality LED brand stop T 
tail and indicator lights. We have a reverse light upgrade, which is standard. And we have the number plate on the bar with two number plate lights. So the number plate goes here. It looks absolutely fantastic. It keeps it down there. It's nice out of the way. And then we have two recovery points that as long as you're using a bridle in between them, they work absolutely fantastic. All right, from there, going on to some of the options that we offer on the back of the bar. So here we've got the dual wheel option. So the benefits of a dual wheel option are probably more for your remote traveling. If you're out in the sticks and you're traveling quite off grid, two wheels can really be priceless. So that's why he's gone here. He's heading out remote places, having those two spares, peace of mind. And if you do bust two spares, how handy is it to have them on the back of your car, which is something that you weren't able to do before because the troopies only have one wheel on the door. So you would either be carrying a spare on the roof or who knows, trying to carry a puncture repair kit, which can just be not as, not as fruitful. So two spares, absolutely priceless on some trips. But if you do want, all our spindles are the same hitch so you can interchange them so if you want to buy a rear bar with two spares and an accessory arm that's also possible it's a pretty easy change you've just got a nut under here you can have the bearings packed and stuff like that already and if you want to swap out that arm that's no problem so you just pull the arm off put the accessory arm off and depending on the trip you're going you can run a dual jerry can or a barbecue box on the left hand side. So if you are running a dual jerry can or a barbecue box, to note it's a different arm, it's what we call an accessory arm. So if you are running an accessory arm, the barbecue box or the dual jerry can holder are a bolt on feature. So they're really easy. It's just four bolts on the upright, on the barbecue box there's some supports underneath and you can interchange between the two. So two jerry cans, the benefits of that. You can either carry water, fuel, or one of each. Another thing that on the longer trips is just so convenient. So we do do a water tank, so do a few other companies, but sometimes the water that we store in these vehicles isn't enough. So having 20 or 40 liters on the back is just, again, peace of mind that you've got some spare water there. Long range fuel tanks are great, but if you think that you're not gonna get enough fuel or you're worried about the cost of fuel, cost of nullable, ball, et cetera, you can fill up a diesel can and chuck that in the dual jerry can holder as well. The barbecue box, very popular seller, great item. It's a barbecue box that goes on the left-hand side and it swings out. It's designed to put a baby Weber, but you can fit the baby Weber with the high lid as long as you pull the little spaces out of the handle. The reason we have it like that is just keeping that barbecue box as small as possible on the back of the car. We don't want it to look out of place. So the barbecue box sticks out a little bit further than the wheel, which is why we pull that spacer out the handle, just keeping it nice and small. So barbecue box, you pull the swing away out, two easy latches, open up and you can get cooking. Something to note is it doesn't carry a gas bottle. We don't like a gas bottle in a crush zone. So just in case you are, in a praying, we don't like the gas bottle there. We think it's unsafe. So we don't put the gas bottle there, but what we do have is a gas bottle mount on the side of the uh, barbecue box. So you can put your gas bottle on the side when you're cooking and it's just a really, really easy, convenient thing. You can probably put tools in there. You can put a few other bits and pieces in there as well. There's plenty of room underneath the barbecue. That's basically a run through on our rear bar and how we do it. Um, there's plenty of other things out there you can run but it's just really convenient having that rear bar on the back of your troopy specifically but great product fully australian made which is something that a lot of people ask the question so we make everything in this country great quality we try and use as many people and source as much stuff locally that we can so guys there you have it the thorburns rear bar popular thing so if you're after one give us a buzz shoot us an email we're generally not too far away on stock. We do our best to keep you guys getting ready, get ready out on the tracks, but Dolby Rebar, if you want one, give us a buzz. Cheers.